Oh, Steve can't hear me because he's deaf. I what? hate that. He's going to have to go out and get hearing aids now. Oh, yeah, because apparently the government just signed documentation that we can now buy hearing aids over the counter. But we've been able to buy hearing aids all along on Amazon. Yeah, right. but I so, think it's a prescription thing. Again, the government behind but <laughs> No need prescription glasses, whatever. Um, hopefully, maybe Scott's right and it'll cover it on insurance, but I doubt it because we can't figure that out either. But then who can't figure out the government? But on this episode, we are going to talk about uh, hearing and uh, getting around the law. And uh, and I've been married stuff. as long as Diet Coke's been around. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, and then we're going to talk about different countries. Australia. Ooh, New Zealand. About, uh, Finland. Finland, Ooh. yep. And, a little uh, bit about England. Ooh. But we're going to go worldwide this show. So it's going to be yeah. a very weird show. Um, and yeah. Scott, Nothing Scott new. needs to learn to look behind him. Ah! He, again, he won't do it. And you'll find out why looking behind Scott would have been a better thing for him to do. But he still just won't do it. And Although Steve's going to give me $55 million, $555 million. Can't teach the old dog new tricks. Give up on my way. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Don't Know Show. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show, podcast, and live Twitch stream. We're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world today. And if you want to see what we've been doing, you can go down to whathappened.world down there. And you can link to my Twitch page, my Facebook page. What else? I don't really... Oh, Twitch. Well, yeah. Do we have the Twitch link on there? I don't know if we have the Twitch link on it. we got to redo our webpage. Um, but you've got my Instagram link, and you can see that I was at hockey and golf this weekend. Yeah, you need a TikTok page. That's why there's a golf. I, no, I won't do TikTok. Although, although that's where all the kids are getting their news and everything now. It's going away from Google. Yep. People were searching YouTube, but then Google bought them. So now they're actually searching on TikTok to learn yep. how to do things. How crazy is that? So mm -hmm. that's it. Then our show's now over. Uh, because that's all the time you have for a TikTok. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. Yeah, yeah, you can learn how to twerk. What? Well, TikTok I, videos I, will teach you how to twerk. I, I, I okay, if you say so. I'm thinking that you can learn how to twerk in sixty seconds, but you can't learn how to take part an engine on a car in sixty seconds. Okay, if you say so. The <laughs> things I know. All right. So this week I found a lot of uh, what did I find. I found a lot of world news. Okay, so why are we talking about that? We're not there yet. So we're still doing the opening. The opening is what we have on the windscreens behind us. No, we see we still haven't even finished the open. <sighs> you got to yes, finish your last need... line. I did it already. No, you didn't. Certainly did. And then you started rambling. No, no, you didn't. Read the last line. Did you add something new to my line? No, you just didn't say it. I said it. I, we did the like, subscribe, and share. That's the last line. Then we get into the show. There it is. So you got like, I said it. You didn't. You're supposed to. No, you are. I'm black. You're blue. Oh. Well, after, after dealing with otherwise, you, I'm black otherwise, blue. otherwise, otherwise, it, 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 it says I'm Steve, and it says, and I'm Scott. That's in blue. See, so that's Scott. Scott does the blue stuff. And this is a tale of bad life decisions led to a YouTube show, podcast, and live stream. And I go, we're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world, and go to one night. Then I just talk about what happened. It's not there, written that. Go to what happened dot world today. You can talk about. You know, you can see what I'm on, what I'm on, what I'm on, and then you did supposed to say. But before we get to that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't and forget to like, it. subscribe, and share. There. Now Steve yeah. feels happy. Now, now, okay. Now you did it. Yay, I you did it. See, because I listen. You know how long it's been since I did it? You know, you know what? You don't even listen. You, well, that's, you, if you're the one who wants to get smacked, <laughs> you, you can continue on this conversation. Ooh, look at this. Look I at have, what? I have an aura around my fingers. Cool. I'm I, getting I, magical. I can't see it. That's okay. I got the camera up now. What? Show me. Wait, camera went away. Hold on. Yes, smart ass. Do it again. No, it nope. didn't. 
Do it again. Green aura. Mm, you're weird. Okay. Don't do that. I didn't do that. You did that. So your other fingers disappeared. Where were you golfing? You you didn't see that, but your other fingers disappeared, and that's what you had. Yeah. They did. Do it again. I, I was pointing to the left. Correct. Watch. Where was I golfing? At yes. Golf where course? were you golfing? That's what your pictures. You were golfing. I, I was at a golf course. I don't believe you. I think that's your backyard. Uh, let's, uh, is it? Oh, I can't zoom in. Dang it. I got to try zooming in because on the mountains over there, there okay. are some letters. There are some letters somewhere. Does it say know. Hollywood? No. Okay. Just checking. I, I will give you hints. I was not in Las Vegas proper. Okay. It was still within a 45 minute drive of my house. Okay. Any guesses? Crump? No. Lake Mead? Ooh, closer. Where, Reno. Where, where is Lake Mead at? Obviously, obviously, okay. So we do know that the water has gone down a lot in Lake Mead. But it didn't, go down, it didn't go down so much that it exposed the golf course. Are you sure? So what city would I be in if I was close to Lake Mead? I have no idea. How do you not know that? Well, because it's or, or, or Nevada. Who knows well, anything about Nevada besides Las Vegas and Reno? It's the damn city. You know that damn city. You're, you're in Hoover, Nevada? No. Hoover's the dam. What's the name of the city it's in? It's famous. That's where everybody lives. There's no gambling allowed <gasps> in the city. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Why would anybody live there? Well, that's why Vegas got built up outside of it and not built oh. up inside of it. What's the name There's of the something city? like Henderson? Nope. Henderson's still Vegas. Henderson is still Clark County. Henderson has gambling. Ah. What city... What city is Hoover Dam located at? Where did all the people who built Lower Hoover Dam live? Come on, Scott. I have no idea, and I'm not going to look it up. Come on, Scott. It'll be a okay, really I'll look show. it up. It'll be a really long show. I've all right, according to this, Hoover Dam is in the Reservoir Park. Right, that's where Hoover Dam is. Again. Where do all the people that built Hoover Dam live? Ooh, why does it say Westerville, Ohio? Wow, your geography is really messed up. Westerville, Ohio. I actually lived in Westerville, Ohio. Can you believe that? It's Westerville, Ohio is in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. See, I know that, and I live there. So why did it bring that up? I did really Hoover Dam. The very first thing on there is Hooper Reservoir Park in Westerville, Ohio. How yeah, well, weird up, is that? You picked up the wrong Hoover Dam. I know. And then the second one is Dam Taming the Colorado River since 1935. That's correct. That so would be right. The Colorado River. Then Temple Bar Marina, Arizona. Yep, that's in Arizona, though. I was in Nevada. Right. And, oh, more places. Let's see what else it says. Uh, oh, it's in Hydroelectric, Nevada. No, but guess again. So you're going to kill the first half hour of our show, right? This is funny. I, I never would have expected it to come out like this. Nobody would. Can you share it? Oh, yeah. It's a good idea. This is funny. Because I can't believe that there are that many Hoover Dams. I'm going to search Hoover Dam. Okay. I got to make sure I have the right one open. It's this one. Share. Okay. Damn. Okay. Do you see it? That's the drop down. Just click on Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam, number one. See, yeah, Hoover Dam. Reservoir Park. For, oh, I was not joking. Okay. Look at this. These are the only ones it shows for okay. Hoover Dam. It's like, really? Okay. Now, the lookout's obviously You look close. at the map over there, though. You can see the map on the right-hand side. It's in Nevada. Yeah. So, and here, if you click on it, it says Hydroelectric Nevada. That doesn't say Hydroelectric Nevada. It says a hydroelectric power plant in Clark County. But is that not bizarre? And it says Delavan Lake, Wisconsin. I know. So that's like oh, that's yeah. your that's your that's where you're located. Yes, that's where I'm so, located. Delavan Lake, Wisconsin. 
So, but that's just weird. Why did you put your bank pin up there? Wow, that's crazy. So, oh, oh, look, look, look. Hoover Dam. Right. That's Hoover Dam. There it is. That's when they had water. But that's not the city that's by Hoover Dam. What's the city that's by Hoover Dam? Where do people live? You would think. Oh, let's try map directly. All right. There's Lake Mead. Oh, Lake Mead's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, Lake Mead's huge. What the hell? What are you doing? Okay. So Lake Mead. There's Hoover right. Dam. Right. You don't live, you don't live on Hoover Dam. There's Viewpoint. Well, that's Arizona. So all right. That, so this is Arizona. So this yep. Lakeview Lookout. Right. Nobody's living there yet. Why is this work. not allowing me to move it? Because you, you grabbed the wrong map. Oh, uh, the non zoom out map. We could have clicked on find source, but that's okay. You are really bad at this. I don't share very often. No, not the sharing part, the using the computer and the searching part. Okay. Why don't you put down where, why don't you search where did the people live that built Hoover Dam? Why don't you do that? Because they didn't live on the dam while they were building it. They didn't live they in did. the National Park. No, they didn't. Oh, see, they lived in boulders. Oh, they had to be very funny. uncomfortable. So, Boulder City. That's a pretty good looking golf course. Boulder City. That's the Boulder City golf course? Yeah. It's three nine-hole golf courses. Uh, one of the tracks was really easy. One of the nines was really easy, and then the other track was really hard. So I end up shotting and shotting. I end up shotting a 92, which is okay. But I only shot a 40. I shot a 42 on the I shot a 42 on the front, so I'll show you how bad I shot on the back. <laughs> or or the or the tougher track. Right. Tougher track was just longer. I well, don't do I don't do well on a longer one because I don't hit the ball as far anymore, especially with the humidity. So it was, you know, hit a driver, hit a driver, hit a driver, and then putt. And that's not fun golf. That's not how you're supposed to you're supposed no. to hit a driver, then you're supposed to hit some kind of iron <laughs> and then maybe chip and then putt. Uh or you know, hit a driver, hit hit some other club, and putt and putt. But because the courses are so long, I don't hit the ball that far. Uh, How long are hit they? Hit a driver, hit a driver, hit a driver. They're long. They're over, they're like six thousand to seven thousand yards. And that what then? Is that normal? No, that's that's long. Okay. I, I like I like I like low six thousands, five thousand yard courses. I don't hit the ball that far. How far are you Again, hitting the ball now? Not that far. <laughs> My drives are, I think I'm hitting it 180 to 210. That's not far at all. Yeah, 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 I agree. I was averaging 230 to 260, depending on the if I hit it straight or, or not. <laughs> oh, I'm hitting them straight. I just, it just. Well, yeah. I think I've told you before, I play golf kind of like, um, major leagues, uh, wild thing as a pitcher. If it was on the money, it was absolutely fantastic drive. If it's not on the money, well, it's way off to the side, yeah. but it's still really far away. Right. And then you don't I'm take like all a gorilla. The then you don't take all the penalties. So yeah, you don't get, you know, your, your score doesn't change. But, uh, I even got to the point where with my five iron, I was, uh, hitting about 120 yards. A five iron, 120 yards? Yeah. Okay, I hit my nine iron, 120 yards. Well. That's not good. No. Yeah, but. That's bad. Yeah. That's, so your driver, you're doing good, and everything else, you're doing terrible. Is what Correct. You're 120 yards with a five iron is terrible, Scott. Okay, because I know I can hit the ball farther than that. So that's not, that's not good at all. Yeah, I'm thinking this wrong. I it's what what were yeah, they thinking wrong. about? I don't know what you were thinking, but that's wrong. Yeah, because because on the 200 yard par three, I use a four iron, and sometimes I overhit. But if I go to a five iron, I'm always short, which is really weird. 
So I usually hit a four iron for 200 yards. So I said that just means you got a that just means you got a psychological problem with that iron. Exactly. They they should go about 10 yards difference between each club lower as you as the number gets higher. Yes, because that means the ball is going up higher instead of a although no here's the other thing. Yeah. The, it, right, the, the higher the, the higher the number, yeah, the, higher the sharper the, the pitch, so the higher up it goes. Right. Okay. So, but my my problem was with the you know uh, golf. Yeah. Well, you the one who taught me, dude. Yeah. Well, that was forty <laughs> years ago. Yes, it was. <laughs> and and you hey, only took Goobers a here. Lessons. Hey, Goobers. Yeah, hey, I took a couple of lessons. So, but it could be worse. Well, it could be. Yeah, I could actually golf every day and be like that. Yeah, well, I only golf once a month, and that's the problem. Well, so and, far, I've golfed and, once this year. And I was exhausted. It Me too. It was hot and humid. Yeah, you keep telling it yourself that. Drained, it drained the energy. It drained. Yeah. No, it was humid there for, for us. It just drained the energy out of me. Yeah, was, for you. I was like, you know, well, that's We had 100% golf. humidity yesterday. I only golf. Once a month, and I'm, a, I'm out of shape. I'm terrible. I'm out of shape. Not good. Not good at all. But yeah, so, but the weather looks really nice, doesn't it? I mean, yes. It looks nice out there. It's nice. It's green for the desert. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, it was brutal. And then I went to see um, the three on three hockey championship. That mean called, called Three Ice. That was good. That was fun. So, so now we talk about your picture. We can. Can you well, guess what my picture is? I don't know who that guy is. Who's that guy with the hat? Who's yeah. the guy? He's not wearing a hat. That's not a hat. Nope, not a hat. Kind it's a big head of hair. No, that's not you. Nope, but he's really close to me. That's Jay. That's Jay. Hi, Jay. This was the fish concert. Okay, so there's your new bus. That's new bus right the here. Yeah. Up. That's the bus he drove. That's the one, uh, the one from California. <laughs> that, which one had the pulley? Uh, my bus had the pulley out. Okay. Then the, the Y drive. And yep. then, did you have the school buses or were those other people's? Uh, those. The uh, this bus was with us. Okay. Not this bus. We on this day. This was the first day of the concert, I think. So it was only three of us. Okay. And how many trips? What do you mean, how many trips? Did you go out and drop people off and come back? Or no. no. These okay. buses are packed. We come in, unload everybody, set up the grill, do all the cooking, and everybody stays there all day until they go into the concert. Then we clean up. Yeah, what time? Have, what time do you leave for that stuff? To start picking your, up. What time does your day start? You guys start. Uh, what time oh shit! We start at eight o'clock in the morning. So you guys start eight o'clock in the morning. What do you get your first passenger on the bus? Four o'clock in the afternoon. And how many stops do you make? Just one for each bus, or are there multiple mm. stops? For fish, it was nice. We only had two stops most days. Three stops on one day. And uh, where do you guys stop at? Like hotels or something. You know, like Fontana Family Chiropractic, uh, Baymont Hotel, Comfort Suites. Wait, 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 wait. Hotels like uh, Fontana Family Chiropractic. Yes, that's a hotel now. Is it really? No. Oh. That's and where I, say, here's so what the kind of What kind of spa treatment is that hotel? That's a was spa in, hotel. We had a problem with the security guy at the Abbey, and he pissed me off to such a point that I will no longer take the buses there for concerts. I will only go there for weddings. Oh, really? Because yeah. he wouldn't let you pull in or park buses or something? Correct. Or? He insisted that, the, people that the people getting on my bus were not staying at the hotel. That's not allowed. And there were only four people out of 15 that got on that were not staying at the resort. And those people were livid that he said that to me. But because of that, Fontana oh, Family they, Chiropractic did they, write, is, did they all write a letter? No. Well, then the, the the, never they, they just said they're never going to stay there again. No, so, they should have wrote letters, though. Yeah. So, anyway, to make a quick, a long story even longer, because you keep interrupting me, uh, Fontana like Family Chiropractic is closed on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Okay. So, their parking lot behind the building is completely empty. 
So I told people who are staying at the Abbey or the Fontana Inn, which is literally a block away, to walk, please. Everybody else parked behind the building, and it worked out great. Cool. Um, that would be something that maybe you could make the money off of. So, because you're close enough to where people would want to stay there, uh, it'd be cool if you got property on the lake, though. That'd even cool. Yes. But you could. I was thinking we should buy some property by you, and we should put a bunch of tiny houses on it. Yeah. No, no, no. And then and then make it a resort. Yeah, you don't want. There's no space left here. There has to be. The only way to get space is to well, buy won't be on the lake. It won't something be the lake. Ex- already existing, raise it, and put something new up. That's millions of dollars. Well, what don't you burn property? That's well, that's four acre parcel, but it's not zoned correct. Oh, can I say we can put some tiny houses on there? That'd be great. Yeah, people no. stay there. Walworth County is one of the strictest counties in the state. Well, okay. So you joked about running for governor. Yes. Why don't you think a little smaller? Run run for county something or another? County board, yeah. Oh. County commissioner? I don't know what they well, are in Walworth County. Mainly because I'm seriously considering within two years of moving. Who's in the hall? Dakota, you getting your laundry? Hey, Dakota. I got my Come and say hi. To let the air go. He won't say hi. Why the chicken, chicken, he doesn't poo poo. Chicken poo poo, chicken poo poo. It doesn't bother him. No, of course it doesn't bother the, him. The population as of 2020 for Walworth County was 106,478. It's the county seat of Elkhorn. That is correct. Well, county seat of Walworth County. The county Elkhorn is uh, the county seat. Oh, its county seat is Elkhorn. Yes, Got correct. Uh, the county was created in 1836 from Wisconsin Territory and organized in 1839. Uh, it was named for, oh, really? For Reuben H. Walworth. Did you know that? Yes, I did. You know why I know that? Because of Uncle Wally and Walworth and Walmart? No, because I was on the Chamber of Commerce and the Board of Directors and everything for so long. Well, that's what I mean. So you did all that. So what's the, you know, just so it's one step over. Exactly. When are you looking to retire? Two more years. When's the next election? Two more years. Yeah, because we had an election this year. Yeah, too late to get on this year. Unless you do a big write-in campaign. Uh Uh-oh, you're sharing screens. Yes, I'm sharing screens. I'm doing something I don't normally do. But remember, look at all the pizzas in the boxes on the right-hand side. Oh, those aren't pizzas. Red Baron? Those are not pizzas. Uh, those are pizzas. those are things like bagel pizzas and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I could take just, pictures just wait, of, just wait, of those just, pizzas. Just wait, just wait. Here we go. Could, Watch this. I could, I could take pictures of no those box, pizzas. no box, no box, no box, no box, no box, no box. You guys do weird stuff in Wisconsin. They're all in boxes here. They're all in boxes here. Uh, I had to bring that up. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Because you didn't believe me. So I went to video. That is crazy. People want to see what it looks like. They're like, they're like Missouri. It's the show me state. If you can't see it, they ain't going to buy it. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that reminds me. We had um, the Jimmy Buffett concert yesterday. Oh, did you? Yes. And all the parrot heads were there. We got freaking soaked, absolutely soaked to the skin. Again? Did oh it rain God. last year during his concert? And it got they, people were sliding down the hill or something? Oh, or? That was like five years ago. Because uh, remember the last two years, there have been no concerts. So, but anywho, um, yeah, it was. Uh, the part that was sad is right before I left, I double-checked the weather. I looked at the radar. I looked at the hourly forecast. It said that the rain was going to hold off until 11 p.m., okay? We got there. We set up everything. But what I did not realize is my back was to the incoming storms. So oh, we, we oh. get everything set up. <laughs> did you look looking behind you? No. Well, the bus was behind me, so I couldn't it see. It snuck up. It snuck up like a freight this train. This is what was the weirdest thing about this whole thing. 
I, I have a tent. I bring it, but we didn't put it up because we should have been done well before the rain hit. Right. It's sunny out. I'm perspiring, getting the grill going. I got my first set of food on the grill. All of a sudden, it starts pouring with the sun still out. Yep. Okay. Freaking us out. I turn around and the sky is just black behind me. Yep. Oh, but the wind was blowing the rain ahead of the clouds. How weird is that? That's awesome. All of a sudden, it just went on Can you us. see my share? Yes. Box, 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 all boxes. You know why it's all boxes look, there? Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. Box, 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 box. Isn't that weird? Yeah, because all the pizza sucks there, so they didn't want people to see the real thing. Isn't that weird, though? Yes. So that's crazy. Yeah, yeah even Jeannie says there. a lot in boxes down by her. There was one door, and I don't know why it didn't show up on my video. I think it was off to the side. And because you didn't want to show that? You no, were, it was the one that were, had the home run in pizza and some one other brand in there. And those two brands were in boxes. The only two in boxes were home run in pizza and one other one. Everything else yeah. is clear wrap. Here, look at this. Okay. It's home run in, I think, maybe. But look, box, 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 all yep. boxes. Weird. Yep. you got weird stores by you, man. Well, like I said, we want to see what's on our product. What's so on the weird. picture of the box is not always the real thing. It even says what, what, on okay. there, this picture okay. may not represent the actual no, product. No pictures of food are actually the food. I you know that, right? Yeah. A lot of it's claymation shit. Not even cooked. And yeah, yeah it's, it's funny. So. I love it. That is weird. It is absolutely insane. And it's all special effects stuff on a lot of the things. I remember when I was back in the day when I was working, doing TV commercials. And Back and, in the day for you, that's a long time. It so. was a long time ago. Decades um, ago. But I, I remember that one of the ones I was auditioning for, they were they had all the food products out there. And it was all plastic. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. Okay, <laughs> take a bite. No, no, no. One real thing. That's it. But it wasn't out. It's the, the, the video, all the pictures of this stuff in the video starts out with the fake stuff. And you're looking at it going, ooh, 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 ooh. And then when it's time for the scene where you eat it, they bring a eat warm it. one out and put it in your face. It's funny or shit. Yeah. So fake, right. fake, fake. So speaking of fake, 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 we've talked a few times about this world being fake, 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 and we're all just being controlled. Yes. Well, you know, this is the Matrix. Right. Yeah. Either Matrix or it's a Sims video game or that. Yes. Well, I had that experience last night. Really? You finally or, took the pill or, or all day today? I couldn't sleep last night. Okay. Woke up. Woke Opposite up about, for me. Woke up about 245. Didn't I didn't feel right. Didn't feel comfortable. Not good at all. So. Something told me just go downstairs and sit on the couch for a while. And then you'll be able to go back to bed and you'll, you'll be good. Right. Don't know why I don't normally, when I wake up at night, I don't normally get up and go downstairs. Got up, went downstairs, three o'clock rolls in, um, three o'clock's coming up. By the time I get downstairs, uh, you no, know, we have two dogs, Nala and Sadie. Uh, Nala comes in from outside. So you got the little doggy door. Okay. Right? So, so they left the dogs out last night. Uh, there's a gate so the dogs can't come up the stairs. Um, Dakota's door is open. So again, I'm guessing like normal Sadie's, you know, hanging out with him in there. Nala comes in and the lights are on because it's three o'clock. And at three o'clock, uh, all the lights come on downstairs and the Roomba uh, vacuum cleaner goes on. Okay. Now it's got sight, right? So it can see. Yes. So that's why I turned the lights on. Right. Okay. So lights come on and it starts vacuuming and I go sit on the couch. And when I sit on the couch, I smell poop. Uh oh. And I'm like, what, what, what? So then I go look towards the front door and we have a, uh, not a welcome mat, but a carpet there in front of the door for coming in. Okay. And there's four turds, four dog turds right there on the, on the carpet, which they're not supposed to. However, there are um, 
a lot of videos or that you or pictures, you can see where the dog pooped and then the robot ran over to poop. Yes. And then smeared the poop. Yes. Like all over the whole, right? Exactly. So I grabbed a plastic bag and cleaned it up before the robot got there. But how weird is that? Yes. To wake me up, You're... make me go down there and find the poop before the robot got it and smeared it all over the house. Perfect. There, that, that shows you there's something else going on. Well, it's because even in your sleep, your brain is functioning and your body smelled the poop. Upstairs. Yep. On a separate air conditioning unit with the door closed. Damn skippy. God. Poop permeates everything. Actually, I, your urine is actually the worst. I Again, that's just... And I don't think God, philosophical or whatever, I don't think God was all worried about poop getting smeared all over my house. No. So yeah, that think, would be like low priority. So I think whoever had my controller was just being weird. Because that was one of the comments that uh, the guy said yesterday. Like, um, when we were watching the three on three hockey, a guy was skating with a puck. He was skating across the blue line. Now, you know hockey a little bit, right? Yes. So, you know, the lines that go across to divide up the zones. Correct. So he started on the one side. He was skating backwards with, um, uh, with the puck. He raises his stick back like he's going to take a shot. And then, and then everything froze, but him and the puck kept going across the whole blue line. Like, like a guy goes, Oh, his controller went dead. <laughs> you know, like when you're playing a video game, right, goes right. dead. so yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of Ooh. funny, kind of like that. So I was like, Oh God, it's going to be a weekend of, uh, oh, get this chair. Oh, it's going to be a weekend of, uh, it being weird stuff like that. But yeah, it did look, you know, when the guy said it, it was funnier because normally you see that, but yeah, literally he like froze. And then just kept sliding, and the puck kept sliding, and he, and he went like halfway across the blue line. Like nobody even went at him or anything. He's like, "Up, oh, controller went dead." So yeah, that's pretty funny. But yeah, so whoever had my controller wanted me to clean up that poop or something. That was yes, they did. But honestly, I mean, if if they were your controller, they would have made you not use a bag. It was weird though. Well, I mean, the the kids nowadays they're watching all that stuff. You know yes. that, right? Yeah, yeah, they're watching uh, Grand Theft Auto GTA. And people become, uh, you know, I, they're just weird. It's you one know, of the reasons why we have so many young criminals out there who are stealing cars and getting into major accidents and killing people because they, they think, think it's, it's like a, in the video, video game. game. Yeah, doesn't work in real life, I, folks. I I, uh, I reject your fallacy that a video game causes a kid to get a gun and go shoot people. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You just said that. I was talking you said about that's the reason why these people kids are who people. are right. Ra- no, said you said the words killing people. Yes, because they're racing cars through the you city said the words killing at people. high speed. Play it back. You said it. I did, but not in the context you said it. Yeah, but you said it in that context. I said it about it the car thefts. So, what? huh? What? You know, if you keep doing that, you're going to let all the air out. What? Exactly. What? What? No, any. Oh man. Huh? See now, look what you did. What? You spit in my eye. What? All right. It is time the for our genuine positivity message. Your microphone's not working. Your, well, your microphone's not working. It's working. I can't. I can't hear you. I hear you. All right. We can wait till October then. Okay. No, we can't because we got to do our genuine positivity message. Uh, no, we're going on to the first subject. You got to follow the subject board. Because that's what I started. I started the next subject. You're not paying attention. We had yes, as you said, minutes. my microphone is not working. We had two minutes before that. What? Huh? What? No wonder people go away. What? We had more people. Once you started this, they went away. So do no, your October didn't. thing. No, you, you do wait. it. What's what's it? No, no, it's September. Never mind. You do it. Uh did see, wait did till you, October. Did you see the big did you see the big ruling? On October 16th? No. The FDA finalizes a historic ruling enabling access to over-the-counter oh. hearing aids. Ah. So we don't Over- have to pay $1,000 for hearing aids anymore? Okay. Today's action filed President Biden's executive order on promoting competition in the American economy. 
which called for the FDA to take steps to allow hearing aids to be sold over the counter. Okay. Okay. What? You got me. I sort of remember hearing about that because it was something that it's it was in AARP and everything. Hearing about it? <laughs> yeah, get it, get it, hearing. I got a question for you. What the hell is this then? Over 250,000 happy consumers. Right, but look, look, look what you could buy. This is just Amazon, right? Look, look, what are these? Earbuds. Read the words. What does that say? Hearing aids. Okay. Isn't this considered over the counter? I would assume it is. Hearing aids. Hearing aids. Hearing aids. Okay. So my question for you is, what did the FDA actually allow to happen? I don't know. Did you read the whole thing? I'm not reading that piece of crap, but... You saw the subject, right? Yes. Haven't you been able to buy this stuff? Look, look, pages. Pages on pages of hearing aids that you can buy. What did they, what, what? I don't get it. What? Look, hearing aids. Look, look. Right. Maybe it wasn't available last month. I took this. No, no. This has been available for a while. What exactly, what? That doesn't make any sense. What, why is this a historical rule? Why is this just, they are so far behind. It just goes to show how effed up the government is. Oh, sure. More affordable hearing aids. It it takes years to get anything to go through anything. More affordable hearing aids could be in stores as soon as mid-October. What the hell was all that stuff? And that wasn't that expensive. There's also a possibility, and I'm just guessing, by the way, that this has something to do with the insurance not wanting to pay anything on anything that didn't go through a doctor. So is that what you're saying? They're gonna so I could go to Amazon then and buy it. I'm, and the I'm just cover it. To me, that sounds like a logical thing. You know what I'm saying? Because because I deal with the insurance company now with my stuff, and my te- my stress test. If I pay cash at one hospital, is four hundred and thirty-five dollars. Mm-hmm. At my place, the one that I'm all set up and stuff, it's mm-hmm. ten thousand dollars for the exact same thing. Furthermore, today's action corresponding amends existing rules that apply to prescription hearing aids for consistency and the new over-the-counter category. It repeals conditions for the sale of hearing aids, which includes for to address some of the effects hearing aid regulations have on hearing aids. It, this is all just double speak. Uh, effective day 240 to, for hearing aids that have not been offered for sale prior to the effective date. So they're only talking about allowing them to be sold over the counter, but there's there's tons of them over the. Like, but they uh, did say prescription. Uh, again, well, brings it to mind well, that it has to be a prescription grade hearing aid. For for the sure, but it doesn't say that. That's just as for consistency. Yes. Because it's like you can go to the store and buy cheaters in order to see small print out of a right. book. Right. Well, that's the other thing, too, right? You can buy cheaters. Why can't you buy hearing aids? Right. So, well, but, but that doesn't count for cheaters, right? Cheaters aren't part of. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you don't get Medicaid or any of that stuff. You know, this allows Medicaid or Medicare or whatever it is that does that to pay for stuff now. I'm sure that's what it is. Excuse me. I am not sure. I am guessing strongly that, that is the case. Why? Well, you've never worried before. Okay, so our next subject has to do with this subject, but we will pause for the cause. Pause Pause for the cause, because I actually got one done. Uh, Steve didn't have to do it. Whatever. All right, so that means I need to. No, don't make that one go away. There you go. I don't know what I got to do here. What the hell? I don't know what I got to do. Well, here, uh, here. Let let me do it for a change. I will do it for a change. You don't have to do anything. Watch this. Do 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 do. do. What do you mean? What am I going to do? I'll give you three guesses. What I'm going to do? I don't know what you're going to do, but don't do it. Just do the the, the, the genuine positivity message. Where's all right? I'll let you do your thing because you're Holy not happy shit. if you're not doing it. Well, no, because you screw it up. 
But go ahead. Well. Because I don't even see the genuine positivity message. What do you think about that? All right. Wait, where is the genuine positivity message? Uh, right where it should be. Uh, oh, there it is. At the bottom of the page. Well, no, there's more underneath it. All right. No, it's at the bottom of the page. There's a page break there. Oh, that page. Okay. Not you. Never mind. I, I understand where you're going now. Those are called pages. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I know. All right. So are you going to introduce it or am I just going to say it? I did introduce it three times already. Okay. Scott's going to do a genuine positivity message. Scott's going to do a genuine positivity message. Scott's going to do a genuine positivity message. Hey, Scott, what's our genuine positivity message? I have no idea. You have to ask the fun guy, the entertainer. Okay. You ask ah! him. Rain can make your day seem room, but the smell of fresher air after a rain can make you remember Mother Nature is awesome. What happened? I was close. The rain makes not just you, but all of nature feel fresh. There we go. See, I tied it in with a fresh thing. Dork. Rain can make your day seem ruined. Just like at Scott's Fish concert. No, but it was just a of, Buffett concert that rain. Buffett, Buffett concert. But the smell of fresh air after the rain. Okay, so you know those ionizers that are supposed to make it smell like it rained? Yes. I don't like those. It smells more like burnt dust. Uh, okay. I will not disagree with you on this. Uh, where do we even go? I don't even know where to go. There's so many good subjects. I don't want to skip them all. All right. Let's uh, so I'm going to take a look at, oh my God, there's so many things that are so current. Wow. Uh, I'm going to delete all of the subjects on the second half here. I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to go like that and say, those are done. And then we've already got stuff. I'm going to put that for the next show. Well, this is really, really strange. I've been so crazy. What? I was trying to oh, share. Look at that. Who's that? Oh, it did work. On my screen, it didn't show right. Who's that? That is Gary, my new driver had, had, that helped me out during the rain. Oh, that's cool. It so look like it's raining. Okay. See, Why now when I do the share screen, I'm seeing my damn pizza video again. So I thought I was doing it wrong. But well, you're you're you're, sh you're not sh you're sharing the screen. You're not sharing the individual picture. That's why. Oh, I can see well, everything behind you. I so, what see are you seeing right now? I can see the show subject board. I can see your passwords. I no, can you can't. But if you look in the pan for the food, you see the pans got water empty. in it already. The pan's empty. Yeah, I never got food in there because it was raining and it was all wet in there, so we didn't do it. But look how wet the table is, and you see it's all the people wearing raincoats out in the in the back. Walk. Hey, that's cool. I like that. The yellow, pink, and green. That's cool. They're like the Teletubbies. There's yeah. blue people over there and underneath the tent with the pink person. So, yeah, it was it was wet. So, you had Teletubbies out there. That's great. All right. So, wow. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to get rid of I mean, I want to do a New Zealand article. I'm, I'm just going to go with it. Yeah, well, we I'm haven't gonna... had Mrs. Case Marie in a while now. I hope she's okay. Yeah. All right. We'll do this, and then we'll do the hearing because I promised the additional hearing one yes you did on the other side of the break um did you see the lawsuit uh against 3m for i the did not hearing, for the hearing aids that that were uh not working for the military no and they lost the case that if and there's a there's it's one of those class action suits if you were in the military between these years and use this hearing aid and have a hearing problem, you could be get your money from you know. The okay, yeah, hearing we hearings. didn't get those here. We have we oh, have really? the the burn pit one going right now. Okay, so dig this. 3M is trying to 3M. Yep. 3M. Big company is trying to file for bankruptcy to get away from having to pay the. The 3M company probably a bankruptcy determined by Interpol and adjusting 3M's all Z score account off balance sheet. But they're trying to go bankrupt so they don't have to pay this. I thought they ins had insurance for that. Not this amount of money, apparently. Or okay. apparently that maybe it's just a way to dodge it. And uh, the uh, the judge in the case said, no. 
you are not going to bankrupt a multi-billion dollar company to not pay out this this settlement. Exactly. Huh? I said exactly. What? Oh, you're being that way again. Hey, dork. Yeah, I got you once. Yeah, I fell for it again. <laughs> you know that's going to be the joke the whole show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't hear me. You can't so hear me. I uh? warned you. So I warned you. And then All right. you still go with it. You're just gross. Yeah. And you're also a dork. So why did New Zealand find a gross way to use a suitcase? Oh, that's just like the guy, the police guy around here that, that killed those two ladies and shot them over, stuck them in a case. Right. The same thing, isn't this. it? I told you we weren't going to do this one. Well, it's still here. Well, yeah, but it's gross. It is gross. So when they first found it, they found bodies. Um, first moved in the house, and they, they discovered a, uh, a bunch of suitcases in this house. And there were bodies in the suitcases. And the bodies were that of kids. Yeah, that's not good. I didn't see that part until after you started talking. I, well, you, that's because you don't listen. There's the proof. So that's how I'm going to put I'm going to put these subjects up here that are gotchas for Scott. And then I'm going to tell him something. And then if he listens to me, it won't be a gotcha. But if he gotcha. doesn't listen to me, it's going to be a gotcha. So what you're telling me is Fair we're enough. going to be doing gotcha for, for an hour and everybody's going to go, what? Exactly. Huh? Yeah, that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of sad. Yes. Yeah, two, two young children. But yeah, isn't that crazy? Okay. They, the there family, has been the crazy has shit like this going on since the beginning of time. However, it doesn't make it any better when it's all over the news. They were rummaging through the contents of the stores that had been in their home, and the family found suitcases. That was crazy. That's uh, gross. That's a spicy meatball. That's just gross. Yes, all it right. is. We're on the show subject board. Uh, so we did that. We did that. We did that. Oh, how long have you been married? 40 years. Yeah. You know what else is 40 years old? Mm, yes. It says it right there on the page. It does? Yep. Could it possibly be a beverage? Yeah, but you don't like beverages. I don't. That's one of the ones I do drink right there. Diet Coke. Scroll. Message to our fans. I always put a lime wedge in it when I'm at Chili's. I get a Diet Coke with a wedge of lime. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Facts. We've got answers. How old is it? It doesn't say how old it is. Huh. Where can I grab some Diet Coke swag? But it doesn't say anything. Just remember, it. if you grab, you got to get permission from HR. So is that what is that what made you decide to get married? Is you're like, oh, look at this new drink. Diet Coke was new? No, because back then I hated wedding. Diet Soda. We can have this at our wedding and you can do that? Yeah, no, sorry. Was not the reason. So, but anyway, happy birthday to Diet Coke. You're 40 years. Yeah. That's crazy. They got a whole bunch of other flavors, apparently, that are not diet, which is very frustrating. Yeah, well, we talked about that. Yeah. You know, because I've been drinking the same diet beverages for an awful long time now. I'd like to try some of these awesome new flavors. Well, okay, so remember Tab Soda? I do. With the saccharin? Yeah. So I remember, like, drinking that when I was a kid because I liked because I liked the aftertaste. Yes. When do you think that was introduced? I want to say Tab came out in the 60s. Yeah. I don't remember it being around ever since I grew up. I thought it was something that came out. Yeah, when I was no. Because I remember the soda rep at the donut shop came in and he said, look, uh, this is a brand new product. And my dad said, okay. And it sat there. <laughs> so, uh, 1963. Yeah. 1963. How crazy is that? It is cuckoo bonkers. 1963. But and it was finally discontinued in 2020. Yeah. I mean, it lasted that long. Yep. 
But you know why it lasted they, that long, right? Well, they put different sugar in it, yeah, because it was fake and artificial and all that. Well, stuff. no, that's not why it lasted that long. Oh, why? Michael J. Fox. <gasps> really? You're trying to figure out where this one's going, aren't you? You really think that that movie brought it back into style? Well, he went he went into the restaurant and says, I'll take a tab. And the guy says, well, you have to order something first. <laughs> I'll put it on my tab, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. I was, okay. I don't, I, if you say so. I don't yeah, so. yeah. See, because otherwise it would have died out in the 80s already. <laughs> uh, so. so, so did you see Australia uh, is protecting Google now? We were just talking about, you know, Google. Oh, look at that. Finds in favor of Google. Australia, yeah, they, 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 they. So, uh, and here's the funny part too. Uh, let me see where the money is. Okay, so Australia rules. Google isn't a publisher. So this okay. guy sued Google. Um, uh, what was the guy's name? What was it for? Uh, oh gosh, Defteros. Okay, he sued in state court because somebody published a web page. Um, there was a link to a story. I mean, here's the crazy, the timeline on this is crazy, right? Um, there's a link to a story about George DePeros found a link to a story in 2016 where the gurgle, good to gurgle, the Google search of his name and Google brought up this article, brought up this webpage. Okay. And it was a, um, the defamation against this guy. So instead of suing the webpage writer, he sued Google because if you searched up his name, it came up. Right. So he sued them in 2016. The case, wait, the case stems from a, okay, so, so the article was in 2004. Correct. Uh, it was suggested a criminal defense lawyer had crossed professional lines and become a confidant of criminals, criminals okay? So that means right. this article here is also doing that so they published a judgment where in the lower court found in 2016 that google was guilty okay it was viewed by a whole 150 people in the grand scheme of things that's not a lot no it's not but, so we have more than that he sued him then it went up to the appellate court then it finally finally in on august 17th of 2022 finally got overturned Okay. So think about that timeline from, from 2004 to 2022, 18 yes. years, 18 years in the courts, right? So Google's not a, they didn't write the article, so they're not liable. They're, right. they're, they're not the defamation people. Guess how much this case was for the amount of money. Okay. Let's see. The attorneys probably get somewhere around $500 an hour. They've been no, doing no, the, this the whole settlement. Forget that. The whole settlement. What do you think the whole settlement that he sued for? What do you think he sued Google for? Uh, let's see. I'm going to say he sued him for forty thousand dollars. How about twenty eight thousand fifty six? That is an even weirder amount. Well, that's because this converts from Australian money to American dollars. Ah, okay. Twenty eight thousand dollars. That yeah. was a whole lawsuit. And, and they they probably All spent over a million dollars in legal fees fighting and defending it because. It's it's more important that this judgment yes, doesn't go against why. them. Yes. Because then everybody could do it. Yeah, the precedent is more. Yeah, you read the you read the thing there. See, there's another gotcha. Yeah. yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Precedent uh -huh. is more important. But it isn't that is. crazy? It's goofy. To spend that kind of money just so you don't set the precedent, because then they go, well, in this previous case, uh docket uh you know, uh, George DeFaparos versus Google, uh, it was shown that uh, Google was responsible for what other people wrote. Exactly. But yeah, that is just crazy to spend the amount of money that they spent. Like you said, now you start doing all your math. Well, the attorneys get paid, the attorneys get paid, right? Exactly. So here's what I want to know, Scott. 26. Would everybody being crazy and partiers and stuff like that what is going on? So we talked about Boris. Remember Boris Johnson? 
Okay. Yes. UK UK's prime minister. Yes. What happened to him? Uh, they fired him. Uh, he stepped down. Right. Because, 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 and I quote, here's in the quotes. I knew that was coming. Industrial scale party. Oh, okay. Interesting. Is that what I was expecting you to say? Industrial. What were you expecting me to say? Them's the brakes. Oh yeah. But that's what he said. Yeah. But yeah. So he had to quit and stop being the, because he's, he's a partier. Yes. Right. So now in Finland, you've got Santa Marin, who used to be the youngest uh, prime minister. Now there's, there's two that are younger than her. Okay. Um, females, females. Um, she took the office at 34. She was the youngest person to hold the office in Finnish history. So not just um, men or women, but the youngest person. So when you vote a 34 year old in to office, right? What do you think you're voting in? Somebody a, at the beginning of the peak of their life. Right. And what are people in their late 20s, early 30s doing? Raising families, struggling at work, trying to pay bills. Or oh, you're talking or, about the people that already have money so they can afford to party all the time. Or they're partying, right? Yeah. And even those people who have kids and all that stuff, don't they go hang out? And- Not as much. They, it's a little, lot lower. Well, they they, they ride my house. bus because they can't afford to be stupid anymore. Like, what, what are the age? What is your demographic? Right. Yeah, right, in that age group, right? yeah. So I, I don't know why you're fighting me here on this. Because it's part of the show. If I just agreed with you all the time, then my renters would say, dude, why do you always agree with him? No, they wouldn't. They do. They do what? Well, they go, well, because well, I say cracked ever? a lot and stuff like that. This is why do you always say cracked? Because if you say right. right, that's right, not left. Well, three lefts make a right. Usually. So these people are hiring these people, though. And I, what, what are they expecting? But, yeah, so, so, so Santa Marin was caught partying. But, okay. And she's dancing with some uh, Finnish movie star or, or pop star. Okay. Not her husband. Ooh, there's video. Ooh. So they make her take a drug test. She's like, oh, is she doing? She goes, I don't take drugs. So, so on Friday, she takes a drug test. Right? Right. Okay. Here's the crazy part. Um, Santa 36 came under fire this week after a leaked video showed her partying with some politicians saying she should be tested for narcotics. Okay. I uh, did nothing illegal. I took the test. Even a teenager in my donor do drugs. They're going to get the results next week. How long do drug tests take in Europe? Good question. Because when you get a drug test here for driver's DOT, you find out the next day. Right. You f- and sometimes you find out the day of if it's a criminal investigation. Well, you, they, not only day of, but they, they can test you right away for, okay, so, uh, the preliminary one, you know, right. you pee in a cup and you're like, yeah, you pass. You, there's no additional blood test or anything like that. Right. So I'm like, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean next week? What? Do you- it's called extending the news cycle. Okay. Yeah, this, it, but we need yes. to start doing that for us too. Yeah. So I, I don't. Know. I don't understand. Obvious. I mean, I mean, it's, it's just like the who was it? Was it Italy? Who who had the porn star? I believe uh, that is correct. Yeah, uh, she's Hungarian Italian. Let's see. The member of the Chamber of Deputies, um, what is her name? Uh, uh, Iona Stoller. Iona Stoller. Where's political political life? Personal life, political life, political life. Where's political life? Oh, here's political life. Iona Stoller. In 1979, Stoller was presented as a female candidate to the Italian Parliament. Ladies' first Green Party in 1985 switched to the Liberian nuclear NATO in 1987, approximately. She was elected to the Italian Parliament in 1987 with approximately 20,000 votes. While in office and before the offset of Gulf War, she offered to have sex with the Iraq leader, Saddam, Saddam Hussein, in return for peace in the region. They didn't reelect her. 
I don't know. Personally, I think that was genius thinking. Well, if that's what Saddam wanted, though. That's so, I, I'm always dumbfounded by how... How and why we pick and vote the people in. We pick yes, and vote in. it just blows my mind. But, yeah, I, I mean, what again, what are they thinking? That's the problem. They're not. It's all they, about optics, not about l- logic. What the hell was that? That wasn't good. Something weird just happened to me. Did there your you screen go. move? Yeah, I moved it back. It jerked around, so I moved it back. I know we were both clicking on something at the same time. But when is $555 million not enough, Scott? Uh, when you win over a billion dollars. Nope. When you're in the San Diego courthouse and windows pop out and break for no reason. Ooh, that's not good. So it was happening in Chicago a while ago when they put new windows in a building and when the building swayed or something, they weren't seated properly and the windows would pop out and fall on the street. I mean, they have ice that falls out on the street all the time, but there were windows popping out. Well, now they're having this problem in San Diego. They just built this brand new building. It is the downtown superior court. So if you're going to court, be careful. But three windows have shattered since May. It's a 20 a uh, two-story building and two of the glass panels, one broke inside, didn't come out. One shattered outside, didn't come out. But then this last one that shattered actually broke out and fell to the street. Nobody was hurt because it fell onto a lower roof. But look at that. It's a big ass hole. That window, that window broke and fell out. You know, what's really funny is those windows are Design. I mean, you can throw a chair at those windows and they do not break. They're not bulletproof, but they're pretty damn strong. But that's where they have those those fallacies. Remember, there was an attorney in, a, in an office going, look, you can even throw a chair at the window. He threw it at the window and it shattered and sucked yes. it out and died. Um, yeah, no, if you throw a chair at the window, the ads there is going to bounce back and hit you. Yeah, but isn't that weird? It's weird. But they don't know why. That's my favorite part. I know. $55 million. And you can't figure out why windows are breaking. Yeah. Wonder if they were made in China. Oh, you're trying to segue to the next uh, subject? No. Well, why would you say that then? Well, because a lot of the stuff that we have bought in the past 10 years that only lasts a quarter of what they normally do when you turn it upside down instead of saying made in USA, it says made in China. Okay. We we bought a whole kit full of electronic butts and a, a, we, hooks and rings and stuff like that. The biggest pieces of crap you'd ever imagine. They do not work well. They're just crap. Everything comes from China now. And it's all, it's not all crap. Just a, okay. so much of it you, is. I see what you're saying. You're, you're just being racist. Yeah. No. Because I have Chinese friends, and even they say the same thing. I do not understand why the stuff comes here from this crap. I said it's because the big corporate America companies want the cheapest absolute possible so they can make more profit. And in order to, to make it at the price that these companies want you to sell it to them for, it's going to be crap. So that's it? That's it. I'm off my soapbox now. Because it's time for our... Word of the week, and no, I made it, it even more interesting no, than normal. No, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Sure is. No, it isn't. We're not going to do the the Chinese uh, the Chinese uh, article that you segued to. I didn't even know there was one. Oh, there is one. That's why I asked. All right, we can do that. Oh, it was farther down the list. I was already on my 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 word of the week because I had. How did you in- skip all the other stuff to do that? Huh? How? Why? I just why I knew what to look for. It's big bold letters for well, me. I did that on purpose so we could find it easier. I know, because I know, of, I know. And I all the subjects. Because I understand why you wanted it that way. It's hey, are we uh are we working on Sunday next week? 
I believe so. I have a Brewers game, but I should be back. Okay. In time. Uh, and then what about Labor Day? Are we going to work on Labor Day? Or are we going to work on? Because uh, I'm going to be on a cruise. When do you get back from the cruise? Well, I'll be back Monday night, but I'll be on the cruise Sunday. We don't we don't come back to port till Sunday morning. It's Monday Monday morning at seven. Okay. So it's a good Sunday, question. I, so Sunday we'll be out at sea, um, and I don't know if I'll yeah, have it, it w- yeah. We know that when you're on a cruise ship, the internet sucks. Yep. And my internet may suck next week, anyways. Right. Because well, on, on the twenty seventh, I'm I'm switching internet companies. Okie dokie. So the 28th, which is next Sunday. Yes. Maybe a little rough. Okay. All right. So we'll do next Sunday and then Labor Day. Okay. So that'll be the 28th will be our next show. And then the 5th. Monday. Does that work for you? It works for me. All right. So then we will take the drought stories. And we'll kill those. Since you segue to them, but we don't, you know. But you didn't want to do them. You just want to go right into your uh, word of the week. Yes. Um, and and I actually know this word. Whoops. Uh, I clicked yeah. the wrong button. Put that back. Put that back. It's very important. Why is it important? You'll see. Why is it important that it's there? Are you ready? Wait, no. Why? All right, go ahead. All right. Our word of the week is abeloniac, which is the be- is the beginning of feeling the beginning feeling of wanting to be alone. Okay. Uh, that's not how you pronounce it. Abeloniac? Yeah, it's not abeloniac. It certainly is. No, it isn't. Well, how much you want to bet? How much you got? I, it does not matter because you will instantaneously lose. No, you will lose. Go ahead. Bring it up. No, because abeloniac is not a real word. I made it up because you said I always make up shit. So I made up a word of the day of the week because the real word is isophiliomia. Or isophilio. Oh, I can't even say it. Damn it. You can't say that word either. What did you tell me earlier was a word that couldn't be a word because it's it says or it is whatever it is? I don't remember anymore. It's been a long time. But see, yeah, it's it not a real show, word. But you said you pronounced it this way. It was the rock thing. Rock oh, the rock, yes. Yes. So therefore, your abeloniac is not how you spell abeloniac. Look, it looks like there aren't many great matches for your search. That's correct. Because it's not I, a real I like word. Way, but I like the way they put that. Yes. Many great matches. There aren't any great matches. Scott. There are day matches. None. So that's kind of bad. It's not real. So that's kind of bad. Great match. So, so good job on not making a, a, a thing that's not great. See, because it's great. it's a bionia, a beloniac. It's not. No, it's not how you, it's 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 i beloniac. No, is this yes. not a real word either? I beloniac. Because you it's solophilia. Be- it's solophilia. That's it. It's solophilia. It's oh, I, I it. want to be alone. Not A B. The reason it's A B, A B, it's the beginning of the alphabet. That's why it's the beginning feeling of wanting to be alone. A B C D. Well, then why'd the you beginning. put E in there? Because that's A beloniac. A B A B C B E is no. still B. No, no, A B E is A. It's like my it, word. I can do it my way. It's like an A Lincoln. You cannot go against the English language. Since when? Most of the English language is so damn confusing because it contradicts itself. Because it uses different origins. What's your origin, Scott? What's yeah. the origin of the word? The dark recesses of my mind. Use it in a sentence, please. If it wasn't for me being an abeloniac, I would want to be around in a crowd. No. I am an abeloniac. I-B-L-O-N-I-A-C. So, anywho, the real word of the day, real word of the week is isolophilia. Which is actually... 
Even the, Tom says it's desire to be L O N I A C. I bloniac. I bloniac. <laughs> I bloniac. That's the right word. I bloniac. You're full of baloney. That's what he you said. Know, you're you're full of baloney. You got to make up the word properly. Uh, all right. But Finish I knew it, it was up. a made-up word, but it's not. It's not how you pronounce it. It's Abe Loniac, and Abe was not a loniac. Yes. All right. Finish it off. It's that time. So, so what was the word? Isolophilia. Is it isolo or isophilia? Isolophilia. Isolophilia or isophilia? I'm saying it's isolophilia. Look it up. I it's, think it's isophilia, and I say it's isophilia. Again, because it's about being alone, which is solo. Isolophilia. Right, but isoph But you don't say the. Okay, you don't say the words the way they're spelled. Why not? Uh, you just you just because you just got through saying what is it, that. Pahonix. Because yes, because you just you got live in Pahonix. You do not live in Pahonix. Wait, where is? How to pronounce it? Here it is. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it is isolo. <laughs> Isolophilia. See, see. So who do you want to feel? Well, we Han won't solo? talk about that on the show. So you want to feel Han Solo. So we talked about that. Han earlier. Solo. Ooh. I, thought, I thought you, see, you want more? You brought it all the way around you, in the beginning you, of the show. Yep, I see you, what you did. You need to, to do it with men. No. <laughs> yes. Oh, only if only if I'm videotaped. You want to do Han Solo Philia? All right. Anyway, so, thanks so guys for watching the show. No, Scott's you, gonna go to the even though Steve went crazy. Thank you for watching. If you feel our show is not a bad life decision, it really Steve, is. <laughs> anytime, anytime Scott and I get together, it's always an argument. It's a discussion of of wits, and I wouldn't want Scott to get in any more battles unarmed. <laughs> uh Go down to what happened. world. Look at two finger point. Uh, two finger point. Use two fingers. I am using two fingers like that. Um, so uh, please subscribe, like, go to what happened. world. Uh, please help Scott understand that the weather is can come in from any direction, and he should look yeah. behind him. It the never comes from any direction. Why do? Why do? Why? Okay, Scott just got murdered because he didn't look at the guy. I could have saved his life, so we snuck into his office and stabbed him, and now he's dead because he wouldn't turn around and look. I hate that. It just look. ruined my entire day. Look. See? I looked. I looked behind me. There was a bus behind me. See? That There's a bus been, behind me. It could have been so, and you know that. Plus, look, it's true. dark. Although you know this that, isn't the day of the rain. You know that's not true. Yes, I do. That's even worse. All right. Good night, Steve. Wait, what what do you mean good night? Finish the show. We're way past time and I got to pee. Not too bad. I did really good. I went the whole show. That. You shouldn't have said that, should you? This is what behind that's what's behind you. Up. Oh. Yeah, Wait, you blinked change. out. That was funny. That was weird. It didn't change. Huh. Okay. That's weird. All right, so I broke it. All right. I'm not going to do it. You're not going to do it. No. Thank God. I just want to see how long we can go before Scott pees his pants. I'll just turn off the show. You'll just turn it off because well, yeah. you can do that. I can do that. All right. Well, in that case, then subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. Um, have you posted anything from the shows yet? Like I asked you to? Uh, no. Although what? things I have just, this was the end of, oh, we got you one know, more. Literally, just take a picture and post it. Don't even say anything. Take the picture and post it. It's that easy to do on your phone. What am I posting it on? Instagram or Facebook. They both post to each other now. They do? Yeah. They're owned by the same company. What about Twitter? Well, you can push a little button, and that takes a little more work. But it posts to Twitter, and it'll also post to uh, it'll post to Instagram, Twitter, and I forget the name of the other company. Rumble. I do have Instagram, like don't I? I don't know. I don't know what you have. But at least post to whatever you have. And and you can check it, and it'll post it to Twitter also. But whatever, I you're now's not the time to figure that out at the end of the show again. Why not? Uh, you're still talking, so I can do I, stuff. I, I always talk about everything, but live every day, and we'll see you on the next show. Be genuinely positive. Live and love life. 
And please have a good one. Bye. Uh. 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 Uh.